Hello everyone, let's do some FEMAP examples on rigid body elements on solid surfaces. First up I'm gonna create some uh, geometries over here. I'm gonna go to solids and some primitives. Let's do a cylinder with the radius 1 and a height of 3. There you have it. And I don't know, let's do another one. Uh, geometry, solid, uh, where is it? Primitives. And let's do a um, cone. A block. Let's do a block. Eh, why not? One, one, and three. Sure. And let's put it at. Uh, let's put it at three, three. So they don't uh, hit each other. There you go. Good. All right. We can practice our rigid applying our rigid body elements on these. I'm gonna constrain one side and apply RBEs on the other. Now let's create some uh, materials. Okay, material one. No, fifty e to the nine. Uh, Zero point three three. That'll do it. Cancel. Then we're gonna go ahead and set up some property. Uh, let's call it uh, saw solid one material we're gonna choose solid element okay and uh, ta -da -da -da, that should be it for here okay and we can go ahead and do some meshing mesh mesh control on size on solid I'm gonna mesh them both the same just uh, Tets are fine, and um, the default size, yeah, it'll work just fine. And now we're actually going to go ahead and mesh with solid, both of them. OK. Uh, let's see, tet mesh only. mid side node, we, are, we don't need an extra accurate uh, model for anything here. So the mid side nodes we can omit just for the sake of speed of calculation. And that should do it. There you go. Good. Both of them are meshed. Now let's constrain one side of these. So go to model, constrain on surface. So let's BC. And this one and this one. Okay. Um, let's see, fixed side. And fixed is fine, okay, and uh, that should do it. And now we can go ahead and uh, set up our RBE. We could, uh, let's say, if we have a force pulling on this, we could set up a point force too, but that would create an unnecessary force concentration, right? Where you apply it, right? So if we apply um, RBE spider, a rigid body element spider, then that will nicely distribute it. Okay, here we're gonna go to element type right rigid. Okay, so here let's set up RBE2. This one will uh, make this surface a rigid surface. Okay, if we don't want the surface to be rigid, we can use RBE3 type of interpolation. Okay, here this one will interpolate on the surface and it won't make the surface rigid. RB2, the surface will become rigid completely. Okay, so let, let's apply it. Let's see how it's going to work out. So, change the color to red so it's more visible. It'll stand out a bit more different than, you know, the regular lines of the mesh. So, what do we see here is this is the independent or the master nodes. This one is the dependent or the slave nodes. Okay, these whatever they do, these will follow this. Okay, so um, let's see what we're gonna do here. We do not have a master node that we want. We can pick and have uh, the designated as master. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna select this entire surface, and we're gonna uh, tell. Uh, FEMAP to 
find the center of all of those nodes that are on this one surface and calculate their center and make that the uh, master okay that's what this will do so let's go to nodes and method on surface and now it's gonna pick this surface all these nodes not just uh, the edge that's here every single node that's on the surface will be related to the RBE okay see this one we don't know yet here we define what uh, motions do we want the dependent nodes to follow or copy from the independent one all of them is just fine for me uh, okay and that's it and if we zoom in we can tell that there's an RBE connection from our master to each node on the surface whether they are close far whatever it's a nice spider this is what allows us to distribute a point load into a nice distributed spider web kind of onto the entire surface okay let's uh, do this one as well this one go to model element I'm gonna change this to let's say yellow and here let's try RBE3 the interpolation kind here as well we're gonna pick the node at the center we could designate one node but let's just go node at the center and pick the on surface I'm gonna pick the nodes that are on this surface let's highlight to make sure I pick the right one yep there you go that's the one I wanted okay and now Femap is just gonna go ahead and create it and cancel and there you go we can see yeah well there you go now in this angle you can see it a bit better we can see the all the spider webs that it created there you go so remember that that's pretty much the difference between RBE 2 and 3 that this creates a rigid surface this doesn't okay that, that's the main 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 difference let's run them let's uh, do the analysis new it's gonna be a static okay and analyze it oh well great we didn't do <laughs> there's nothing to analyze we didn't apply a load did we genius okay so let's delete get rid of that okay let's apply some loads how shall we load on a node F okay so we're gonna apply a load 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 don't want to accidentally apply it to some other one there you go let's apply the same load to both surfaces okay F and let's pull down on them right in the negative uh, negative negative Y direction so minus I don't know 100 okay cancel there you go now let's uh, do an analysis new static okay analyze okay now we actually have something happening okay let's go let's go complete good all right let's deform them good look at the result cool I like it okay let's do a little post-processing and visualize uh, certain things how about let's uh, visualize the, fibra the free body diagram, right? So go to post processing, free body, right here, this little uh, icon, add free body, click on it, new free body, uh, FBD1, uh, okay, done. And now if we come here, we have select free body element select free body element uh, select all okay and we should be visualizing see on this side we applied our load right there 
on this side now we can see all the free body a free body element yeah the free body element uh, reactions hmm, I like it nice let's take a look at the other one up here wow this one bent pretty good look at those let's see up here right because this plate is fixed right so the top part of has a reaction this way this one you can kind of even see one of them poking out here it's that way if, if this would be a plate it would be kind of trying to privet it rotate it nice another way to visualize some of the forces let's turn this off we, is visible we'll turn it off normal not visible but uh, let's see if we go view select and come here deform uh, and instead of contour that we usually pick let's go to arrow deform and here we can uh, pick certain things let's see uh, apply total applied force which one which one constraint constraint force they go total constraint you can even pick the moment so but I want to pick the force first total constraint total constraint force that's what I want right now okay and there you have it and then next we'll put the moment too just so we can kind of visualize it and see how they look I like it sometimes when uh, if your forces don't show up make sure when you run an analysis uh, here when you go set this up kick new and this one go in here output requests and double click on any of these and here make sure that the uh, force balance is clicked on sometimes you will not get uh, all your equations or all your output if you don't have these on or just matter of fact for this one too constraint force applied load equation force depends you can just make sure that they are, they are on and then uh, when you come to do your free body diagram then uh, it can display it let's uh, do one more visualization let's do contour I'm gonna do the solid von Mises okay okay there you go okay I believe that will be it for this video like and subscribe and tune in for the next one have a good one everyone